Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Leo. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind or coming towards you is feeling about you right now. What they're thinking about you, what they like best about you, what they don't like as much, what they like about the connection, their hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. So for the main cards... In this reading, I'll be using the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Mano, and if clarifiers are needed, I'll be using the Mystical Manga. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the person who is connected to Leo, thinking about Leo? What are they thinking about them right now? What are they feeling? What do they like best? What do they like best about Leo? And what don't they like as much? What don't they like as much, Spirit? What don't they like as much? Wow. <laughs> okay. That's too many. Um, what do they like best about the connection, Spirit? What do they like best about the connection? And what don't they like? What don't they like as much about this connection? Well, one of their highest hopes, and that one just flipped right out in my hand. And what are their deepest fears? Fear, what are their deepest fears when it comes to this connection? Okay, now I'm going to take three cards, lay them down over here, face down for what is likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice for you, and we will look at those together at the end. Spirit, what is likely to happen? What is likely to happen? What is likely to happen in the near future in this connection? Whoa. Okay. I'm not going to take that because I kind of flipped out upright and spun around. And what I'm really looking for is one that neither of us are going to see till it's time. Okay. What are they likely to do next? What are they likely to do next? And what advice do you have for Leo? Here, give us some advice for Leo. Oh, two cards. Interesting. Okay, we have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Aries energy could be significant, but I do feel like somebody might be kind of fixated on you, Leo, really thinking about you, feeling like you're the one or they're the one for you, feeling more sure than ever. And there's something about this connection I feel that has awakened some confidence in this person, some some awareness of, you know, who they can be, what they want to be. There's something about you that, like, brings out... I don't know, it just brings out a side of them that I feel like for some, they may have almost forgotten was there, but it's like you bring it out. It's really interesting energy with the emperor on the bottom of the deck. What they're thinking about you is the temperance card. Um, Sagittarius energy could be significant, but this is the two of cups in the hands of divine. When I, for me, with a love reading, it's like the universe, you know, kind of brings people together, guides people together, all the little things that happen, all the, so many, all the thousands of little things that happen just for, just for a meeting, just for two people to be, you know, in the same place, the same time, or, or even come across each other, you know, um, if you meet on the internet or out someplace or any, any way, think of all the millions of people in the world you can meet and you meet that person. Like there is something at, at hand there. And this person feels that way. When they think about you, they feel like they met you very specifically. They met you for a reason, but there's definitely something to do with them, um, I feel like thinking, like kind of thinking it's in the hands of fate, like possibly waiting for the right moment or not exactly knowing how to move forward. They could even be kind of like asking advice or talking to friends about the connection and asking about what they should do. What they're feeling about you is the five of cups in reverse, which is interesting because I put all my cards upright when I get the deck ready and this one came out like this. Um, I feel like this may have showed up in another reading, but it could have been a personal, but 
The Five of Cups is actually a better card in reverse because when the Five of Cups is upright, someone is so focused on the things that have gone wrong, the things from the past, the difficulties, they're so discouraged, you know, thinking the past is going to repeat themselves, feeling guilty, maybe worrying about their mistakes, worrying about what they might have said wrong or done wrong or this or that, you know, and they're not seeing the two cups that are still standing behind them. It's like they're missing the potential. And in this case, the two cups in the hands of divine that it's like the universe is trying to, you know, trying to bring something together here. But with the five of cups in reverse this is very positive because the people are turning away um, from or the person is turning away from their doubts, their fears, their worries. And they're looking towards that two of cups they are looking at the potential of a connection and thinking, Maybe, maybe this is possible. Maybe this could happen. I'm getting for some of you, some of you, like there's some sort of challenge, could be something in between the um, you all, could be distance, and I'm feeling that because some of um, the other cards, um, culture, something like that. But I feel like this person at first, when they like first felt like the attraction and the interest, they thought, oh, it's not even possible for whatever reasons, whether it's the distance or whether it's their own things that they have going on. For some, it's work. For some, it's past relationships. But it's almost like they thought, oh, it's not even, it's not even possible. Or Leo's not even going to feel that way. But now something's shifting and they're really hoping that the two of you can overcome whatever this challenge is. What they like best about you is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and Scorpio for that Five of Cups. Um... Taurus for the Capricorn for the Queen of Pentacles could be significant, but we're really looking at the energies here. And this is the Minor Arcana Empress. I mean, this is the energy of the one. This is the kind of person that you take very seriously in a connection. Um, this is someone who takes care of herself. This is someone who, you know, her um, doesn't matter. You all know these are just energies. These cards are not about gender. Um, but someone who kind of does the, you know, does the things that they need to do um, to be independent, to take care of themselves. There's things that I feel like you're working towards or you're doing that this person really admires about you because the Queen of Pentacles, it's really somebody you admire. That's even quite a lot of respect there. What they don't like as much is the world card and the Knight of Pentacles. And this is why I felt like there could be some sort of challenge here. Um, because you could be far from them and they could feel like it's taking them forever to get it together, to save up, to figure out how to see you. Maybe the two of you are planning a trip. Maybe you're planning a move. Could just be that you both have crazy schedules and it's taking forever to make something work. You know, it's going to be different for all of you, but I feel like they like you a lot. What cha what they don't like is the challenge or the difficulty that stands in between. But so often the things that come up in any connection that's a challenge is usually just something that's going on inside of ourselves that we haven't sorted out yet. And when we sort out things inside ourselves and we're really ready for a connection it's amazing how things will just man magically line up and come together so what they like best about the connection is the ace of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy this person is extremely attracted to you they're drawn to you they find you attractive um there's a lot of chemistry here with this card. The two of you could talk. You could have a lot in common. Um, when you met or, you know, initially connected, however you connected, there could have been like an immediate like chemistry, like an immediate attraction, immediate fire. Even though there's some sort of challenge that's taking a little time for, you know, you or them to sort out to kind of cross whatever this challenge is, there is an attraction. And it's like that attraction pulls you to one another. And if this is someone that you've been dealing with for a while, it's going to be different for everyone if you go through challenges if you go through difficulties there's something about the chemistry the attraction the magnetism of this connection that draws the two of you back together and I feel like you genuinely like each other you like being around each other and it helps you overcome some of the other challenges what they don't like is the Knight of Cups. Scorpio energy could be significant, but it almost feels like this person is afraid to fall in love with this Knight of Cups showing up here in the place where they, with what they don't like about the connection. Um, it could be that this person hasn't fully recovered from some things that they've been through where they didn't plan to fall for somebody that where there's whatever this challenge is, be it, like I said, distance culture, you know, both of you work a lot or whatever the case is. I don't feel like this person necessarily planned to fall for you, but they did. And I don't think we pick who we fall for. There's something that just ignites. 
us when we meet someone and it just is. It's like you feel it or you don't. And I don't think this person expected to feel it, but they do. And now they're going to have to face that. They're going to have to deal with that. I go ahead and pull a clarifier on that because it's an extremely positive card and kind of a challenging spot. Spirit, why do we have the Knight of Cups for what they don't like about the connection? Strength card. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's three cards on the bottom of the deck. Because I always, I always glance at the bottom of the deck and I went to grab it. There's three. I'm going to take those out and save them towards the end because um, I do feel like uh, I feel like the two are you going to get through whatever this is. Um, the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Strength card. That is your card, Leo. That is a major arcana for Leo. I just don't think this person was prepared for the amount of feelings that are coming up. It could even be that this isn't how this person really naturally is. I mean, there could be somebody with, especially with that five of cups in reverse, that maybe even swore off love and was like, no, after this, I'm not going to get serious. I'm just going to, you know, just going to go through, you know, and then maybe date or maybe friends with benefits, but I'm not ready to fall in love. And then all of a sudden they're, they're head over heels. And with the Knight of Cups being clarified by the strength card, um, I think this person is still going through the process of realizing that um, emotions, love, vulnerability, it's not a weakness, it's a strength. And that's what the strength card is, is really all about. It's realizing, you know, how much strength it takes to to step forward and follow your heart. And I feel like the emotions are coming up and this could even be somebody who has been kind of taught or told that, oh, you can't be emotional, you can't be sensitive, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's gonna be different for everybody. And feeling like it's a weakness and then all these feelings come up and um, and they're feeling vulnerable. But, the, but I feel like they're realizing the truth is it, it is a strength. I feel like this person is kind of something about the two of you, something about meeting, something about falling for you is awakening something in them and they're making peace with it. Their highest hopes are the nine of cups. Pisces energy could be significant, but this person is hoping for a wish come true with you. They're hoping for some fun. They're hoping for some happiness. They're hoping for some good times that they're also wishing for you. And they're hoping that their wishes to see you, be with you, um, make this happen. They're hoping that that comes true. Their deepest fears are the hermit card, Virgo. And I think we're kind of getting down to kind of what is going on here with this person. Um, having these fears around falling in love with this five, and then this five cups in reverse. So like having these past things that they're just really overcoming. I think this person is, they do have fears around making an offer, opening up their heart and then ending up on their own. With the deepest fear being the hermit card, I feel like they're they're afraid they could end up alone and they're afraid that being vulnerable, you know, sharing their emotions um, might have the opposite effect of what they're hoping and they could end up on their own. Virgo energy could be significant. So what is likely to happen? King of Wands. Oh my goodness. Sagittarius energy, Leo Aries as well, because it's fire, but this is Leo energy. This is the match for the Leo. This is someone gaining their confidence. This is someone who's charismatic, attractive, fun to be around, someone that is very magnetic. And this is someone who takes initiative. The King of Wands can be very spontaneous. And when the King of Wands sets their mind to something, they go for it. I feel like your person could have got discouraged about the challenge, whatever it is between the two of you. They could have got a little overwhelmed by the emotions as well. But there's something about you that just brings out the best in this person, Leo. And, and finding that, uh, you know, and finding you is, is causing them to be, it's like the best version of themselves and it's giving them a confidence they've never had before. And it takes a lot of confidence to be vulnerable. It takes a lot of confidence to open up your heart and put yourself out there. And I feel like this person is going to do that. So what are they likely to do? The fool. Wow. Aries energy could be significant. Um, this person does want to take this leap. They do want to see where this can go. 
even if there's challenges, even if whatever the situation is, um, even if it seems difficult, or even if they don't know how it's going to work out, even if they're afraid they're going to say the wrong thing and end up on their own, this person is going to take that leap, Leo. They are going to go for it. Um, so what is your advice? And we had two cards come out here. Oh my gosh. The moon and the queen of wands. Wow. Um, Pisces energy, then of course, Leo energy here, Leo's, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So now we have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands showing up. But I feel like the way the moon is here with the Queen of Wands, Spirit is saying, don't hide who you are. Be yourself. Be your genuine, you know, creative, fascinating, fun, interesting, you know, magnetic self. It's, it's what you are. You have a passion. You have a fire. And, you know, don't, don't let anyone tell you, like, you're too much or you're too passionate or you're too intense or whatever. Be you. Spirit is saying, don't let anything put out that fire that you are. Trust your intuition with the moon. Let yourself be guided by your own inner moonlight, your intuition. But don't hide who you are because who you are is what this person is drawn to. Who you are is what this person really likes about you. So the cards that I have at, that were on the bottom of the deck and we're clarifying this Knight of Cups and it came up um, where the Strength card came out and it's your Major Arcana here was the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Wands. I had to grab those cards because when you were looking at a love reading, <clears throat> <coughs> so sorry, my throat just suddenly got really, really dry. Somebody is nervous about saying something to you, Leah. When you're looking at a love reading, this can be um, this can be someone saying that they want something much more serious. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here with the Hierophant, Sagittarius with that Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like this person with this energy of the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, very often that can be a commitment that, I mean, this person may even like want to move in with you, but you take things at your own pace, Leo, because especially if there's been a challenge or if this person has been like on the other side of the earth, they can't just suddenly move in with you. You know, obviously I, I don't give advice. I just read the energies of the cards. <laughs> it's your own business. Do what you're going to do. But with the Eight of Wands um, next to some very powerful commitment cards this person could want to move things along really fast and I feel like sometimes in relationships it almost reminds me of the kind of people that um it's like and you know if you're one of these people then maybe they're just right for you but there's sometimes there's people that just want to skip the dating part the nervous part the getting to know each other part the taking you out part you know those those months or even even years of you know making the time to get together when you live in separate places and you have to make the effort there's people that just want to skip right over that and be in like a full on committed relationship out of nowhere and it's those those parts leading up to the commitment are fun they're fun so a commitment is awesome and if this is somebody that you've been connected to for a long time this could be a proposal an engagement this could be somebody asking you to um, to be exclusive, to get more serious, but that there's also some advice here to not let yourself be rushed through all the good parts of a connection. Like there's plenty of time in a lasting connection, you know, to be together. But those those new beginnings, you know, where, where you're making the time and working to see each other and getting to know each other, that's really fun too. So, um, so enjoy that because I feel like I feel like you um, are meeting or connecting with someone that um, that you could you could really have a, a future with. But enjoy it, you know, enjoy it. Be in the moment, have fun with it, and uh, trust your intuition. So that is a message that I have for you. And I thank you all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you watching these videos, liking, subscribing, donating. It means everything to me. You make it possible for me to share readings for a living. And I love it. And I love you all. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading. Um, I do have readings on my site. I do general and love, and I would love to hear from you all. So anyway, I want to thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon.